Okay, so uh, today the Walden City Police Department posted on their page this. Uh, basically, it says that uh, the man that went missing back in January has been found. And they found him a couple miles north of where they were looking to begin with. If they'd only listened to me and not blown me off, I had uh, I'd drawn up a map. And because of my military experience, my tracking experience, my experience with hunting, I had looked at the topographical maps of the area and determined from where his ATV was found to where uh, his shirt was found, there was a direct path of travel. Now, I've been out in these deserts, I know these deserts pretty damn well. And from where he was, where he was at, uh, in that that uh, canyon, if you climb out of the canyon, because of the way the the hills are, it, and how, how it's all set up, when, when you're looking out, you don't see like the main bullhead area, you don't see the the main areas, you don't you don't even see the uh, uh, Laughlin Ranch. Uh, golf course because it, it's it's further sunk further down in but what you do see is the casinos you see the the higher areas and they're very well lit um so concluding that i mean you, you're in a canyon you climb out you're in a canyon your vehicle breaks down uh it's late at night Okay, you have your phone. Here's the thing. Your phone has a light on it, just barely able to, to light your way for you know however long before a battery dies. You climb out or you climb to the highest point. Common sense, you're you're in a ditch or a canyon, you want to get to high ground to see where you are. That's common sense. You're not gonna stay in a hallway. And, and be like, well, uh, which room gets me out of here? No, you're going to be opening doors. But, you know, common sense, he got out of the out of the, the canyon. That's where his shirt was found. Okay, now he's at that. Well, from that point, where, where would he go? I drew a line. Okay, this is, this is path of travel. This is the direction of travel. And that's where I went searching. And... I told people, I, I told the media, I told uh, people on the posts about it, I told tons of people. They all blew me off. Uh, Search and Rescue told, told me to stop contacting them uh, because they're getting too many tips and they, uh, they're trained for this so they don't have to take in, into account they know because police did a ping on his his last known location and it, it was off of that cell phone tower well the problem is is the cell phone tower covers like 10 square miles i mean it's huge so he could have been in any part of that they, they couldn't triangulate where where his phone was they just said well it hit this last tower well, so what? But, you know, I told people, countless people, I went and searched. I went out there for four hours by myself because nobody would believe me that that's where he'd be. Here we are, two months later, and police find him there. Police find him the, the spot where I told them he would be. I was called idiot, I was called stupid, I was called a moron, I was told that I don't have, I don't have the training to, to determine any of this. 
I mean, these search and rescue people, from Mojave County search and rescue thing, it's like, it's like a, a, a four hour class for one thing. And then if you want to do water rescue, you have to have another uh, short class. And I mean, most of the people that I see for search and rescue are like these big obese guys and elderly ladies. Um, one of the, one of the search and rescue guys that I've seen, I mean, he's in a wheelchair and he's a member of search and rescue because he went and got the training. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I went into the military. I, I learned how to read topographical maps. I, I, I learned how to read the hills and the terrain. I, I, I learned, you know, how to get out of situations and yet they're telling me, well, I took a class with, with the Mojave County Sheriff's Department, so I'm more I'm more knowledgeable than you are. I literally pinpointed exactly where he would he would go. I I pinpointed it on a map. I went out. I I could hear the coyotes in the distance. I could hear them just going crazy. And that, and like this was like shortly after he went missing. I could hear them. I called. I was on my CB radio. I called in on my phone. And I was told, no, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know anything. Well, they found him exactly where I said he'd be. Exactly where I said he was he was going to. And what do I... I mean, how, I don't even, I don't even know how to respond to that. I mean, I told the police, I told the family, I told the the ex family, I told the search and rescue, I told the the news. I went I went and traveled to the other group of people who were out there on their own searching and said, "Hey, this is where he would have gone." And they went well, search and rescue gave us a map and, and said that he was over here somewhere because this is where they believe he would have gone. Um, he wouldn't have gone further south. He wouldn't have traveled away from lights. He wouldn't have traveled a harder way uphill and all throughout these things. He would have, he would have kept on a straight path to lights. And nobody believed me. And, I mean, this, this guy could have been found months ago. He literally could have been found months ago. And they didn't even care. They didn't even care to at least take into account my, my opinion or my training or my skills. Hell, they didn't even take into account looking at a damn map and just drawing a line. Just drawing a line. Okay, he's, his ATV was here, his shirt was here. Draw a line. Which way is he headed? They didn't care to do that. And they said he went this way, and then he went way down here, and, and and he's like found way down here somewhere. No, that's not how this works. You you're on a canyon or you're on a ridge. You're following the ridge. You're following the canyon. You're not going to climb in and out of canyons and, and go up and down all these ridges and. You're not going to do all this stuff because it, it burns energy. So you're not you're not going to be like okay, lights and housing are over here. Uh, I'm going to be I, I'm going to choose this way where nothing is, and I'm going to go up and down all these hills and climb these these rocks and, and do all this stuff. No, that's not how it works. Man, man was out there for two months dead. He, he was out there dead and rotting for two months because search and rescue had such a big ego that they could not take anybody else's opinions. And that's the downfall for our, our city or our county. Search and rescue had such big ego that they couldn't even put it aside for a moment to entertain the possibility that they might be wrong. Sad.